Today we're going to show you how to make a quick and simple Salisbury steak recipe. Let's get started. It's kind of cold day outside. We thought it'd be a perfect time to make a Salisbury steak, so let's go ahead and get started. In our bowl here, we put one pound of ground beef. It is going to be an 80-20 mix. To that, we're going to go ahead and add one half a cup of bread crumbs. We have uh, pre-diced one-fourth a cup of diced uh, green peppers and a fourth a cup of onion. Get those in there. We're going to add one egg, which is going to be our binding agent. Seasoning-wise, we're going to do one teaspoon of mustard powder, one-fourth a teaspoon of salt, and one-fourth a teaspoon of black pepper. And we're going to do one tablespoon of everyone's favorite word, Worcestershire Steyer sauce. Or, anyway, that's it. You know what it is. All right. Now we're going to take our hands and we're going to loosely mix this together. We don't want to overmix it because we don't want our hamburgers to be uh, tough. So go ahead and get this mixed in real quick. And then we're going to make them into patties and put them in the pan. All right, we've got, we've got that all mixed together. We're going to, I'm going to take that into a little loaf and kind of... Um, make this into four patties so these are gonna be some large patties you could easily do six if you wanted to in our sauce in our uh, pan over there we've added two tablespoons of butter and we're gonna go ahead and get that started we gonna put that on a medium heat we're gonna fry these until they are completely done on the inside All right, our butter's begin to melt. We're gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of oil to it. And the reason we're doing this is because butter has a tendency to burn, and we don't want that uh, on our uh, patties here. When we've got it on that medium heat. We're gonna take our patties, we're just gonna go ahead and squish them down here. Like I said, you could easily do six different patties here, but we, you know, we like our food. And, there's two of us, so this is good for two meals each, so it'll be perfect. All right, now we're gonna cook this until it's completely done, golden brown on both sides. All right, those that finished cooking, I know they look a little dark, but that's because what we want is a nice crust on the outside of them. Because once we uh, put them back into the gravy, they're gonna become really soft. I'm gonna take those out. Now to our pan here, we're going to add six ounces of sliced mushrooms and also one half of onion that we've sliced. And we're going to saute this until we caramelize those onions. It's going to soak up that nice uh, beef fat and that butter taste left over in the pan. All right, our mushrooms are soft and our onions are nice and caramelized. We're now going to Put this off to the side. All right, now to our pan here, we're gonna add two and a half cups of beef broth. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sour sauce. Two tablespoons of ketchup. Give that a nice mix and we're going to heat that up just for a few moments. One of the great things about this recipe is it is a one pot meal. You don't have to dirty up for any dishes. Shouldn't take very long to get warm. All right, now we have made a little slurry and we've got two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water together. I'm gonna mix that together just a little bit before I pour that in. And I always like to stir as I pour it in. Otherwise, if you pour it in and your liquid 
is too hot, you're gonna leave strands of cornstarch. And trust me, they don't taste very good. All right, we're gonna bring this to a boil and thicken it up for thicken it up just a little bit. All right, our liquid there has come to a boil. We are going to re-add our onions here carefully. Uh, onions and mushrooms. Scatter those out along with our hamburger patties. All right, making sure that they are all covered in that uh, wonderful gravy. And we're gonna let this cook and simmer probably for another 10 to 15 minutes so that way all those flavors, the gravy will get thicker and all the uh, flavors will soak into the burgers. All right, we allow this to cook down for a little while. You can see that the meat is nice and done, nice and uh, tender. And look at this, this gravy is nice and thick, smells delicious. All right, we're gonna plate this up and have some dinner.